Hey everybody, welcome back to our Liberty House. This is Lucas and today we are making cow panel trellis. If you've seen any of our other videos or garden tours, you know we love cattle panel and we love redwood. And today we are gonna make this smaller trellis. You know, like I said, if you've seen it, we have those eight foot and 10 foot long giant cattle panel trellises made out of two by fours. And we decided to make something a little bit smaller, a little bit more mobile and a little bit cheaper. In today's project, what we're using is some two by two, eight foot long pieces of redwood. And so I went and picked up three of them and you know they, those will be the main supports on the side and then we cut down the ones for the cross supports and uh, we're using two by twos because one they're cheaper and two this is a smaller trellis you've seen in our other videos we have those really big trellises they need that two by four support but these smaller trellises we can get away with two by twos they're easier to move around your garden and they're going to save you a little bit of money it's gonna look a little bit more clean. Okay, the cattle panel, this is just a typical cattle panel. This is a uh, piece of scrap we had from doing my parents' fence, that router trellis fence. We're gonna use the same concept that we did on that to build a trellis. So this is a scrap piece uh, and that's what we're gonna use. The nice thing about this trellis video, you're gonna see it. This is completely customizable and we'll go over the measurements here in a little bit, but you could buy an eight foot long piece of cattle panel and you could make yourself four two foot wide uh, cattle panel trellises, you know, using the same method. Um, you would just need to use either bolt cutters or an angle grinder to cut these, but we had scraps. So that's what we're gonna use for this to make it, you know, like I said, it's completely customizable. Um, to fit whatever your needs are. The trellis I'm making today is 17 and a quarter inches wide. Like I said, it's scrap. And what we're gonna do on the router is we're gonna cut in half inch grooves with the router. So if you take an inch off of 17 and a quarter, we're gonna have 16 and a quarter inch cross beam that'll go in between. So that will house this trellis and then the top bar over there, we're gonna add a little bit of like extra like wings to the side just to make it a little bit more decorative. So that one you can either have like a couple inch wings or you know one inch wings and I'll have to measure exactly what those are again, but it'll be a little bit of an overhang like you've seen on all of our other trellises. The two uh, vertical supports are just the full eight foot uh, pieces and we've angle cut, just a 45 degree angle aside to make it easier to get into your soil. So these are full eight foot long pieces. And this piece of cattle panel is, you know, six and a half feet. So we'll have about uh, a foot and a half of space to drive it into the soil. And then this will rest right above the soil. So your plants are easily able to grow on this. Like 18 inches is perfect. Uh, depending on your soil type for uh, into a raised bed. The tools we're going to be using here are our rigid miter saw, the rigid drill and screw gun, and we're going to be using this cobalt router and router table with a half inch bit that will set a half inch deep. We're also going to need a tape measure and then some exterior screws. We actually use two and a half inch screws, not two inch screws, just to give you some more bite. We really like this Deckmate brand. Now that we got all our tools together, it's time to start making your cuts. I always like to pre-cut everything and then we can dry fit and make sure everything looks right. I'll reference all the cut sizes in the description below, but remember that this trellis is customizable depending on the size that you need. You know, here we're just making 45 degree angles on the vertical posts. So, you know, they're easier to put into the garden bed. And then your top and your side, you know, your side support will be depending on the length of your trellis.
Okay, the first step for this is gonna be routing these two by twos. And since a two by two is actually an inch and a half, we have the router set at three quarters of an inch because we wanna be right down the middle of it. And we're gonna route the whole thing down because most of it's gonna be buried in the soil. It's too much to figure out like where to stop. So you just route the whole thing. Um, this is a uh, half inch bit set at a half inch depth. That'll give us enough room to get the cattle panel in there and seated appropriately. So half inch bit, half inch depth, three quarter inch wide to go right down the middle. The cattle panel is about three inch thick when you have the two pieces of wire over crossing. That's why we're using a half inch bit. That way you're not like mushing it in. So if you got a three inch bit, it would be a little bit too tight. So half inch router bit, three eighths inch cattle panel. It'll fit perfectly. It'll be nice and snug and you'll be able to suck them down. Here we're gonna start assembling. You know, on this trellis we started at the bottom, but if I had to do it over again, I'd definitely start at the top. Make sure you have a half inch hanging over the top to fit in that groove that you routered out. This will let you just snug the bottom up. We're always gonna pre-drill our holes, that way we don't split this two by two lumber. Having an extra set of hands here helps get everything, you know, nice and tight and dry fit. Like I said, pre-drill your holes secure it, you'll start feeling it get a lot more sturdy as you start you know, getting the screws drilled in and it comes together. All right, here we're just measuring for the overhangs. You know, we found center, figured about an inch and a half overhang. Marking our spots. You know, as usual, we're gonna pre-drill our holes, you know, find our marks. Screw it in, and this would be the final piece. Like I said, I'd probably start with this one if you had to do it all over again, but the trail still came out fine. It really doesn't matter which side you start with. Sinking the last couple screws in here, and this trellis is good to go. That's a wrap, we got this thing built. It's installed in the garden. You can see we're just constantly expanding our vertical gardening space. We're actually gonna run some uh, cantaloupe melons up this thing, but you can do all sorts of things in vertical gardening. You know, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, hit that like button for us, subscribe to the channel, check out all of our other, you know, vertical gardening and trellis videos, and find us on Instagram, at our Liberty House. See you guys next week.